Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma and I make art videos and today's video is another create and chat video which is where I answer your questions while showing you a piece of art that I'm currently working on in almost real time. So for the art in this video, I'm actually working on a self-portrait. Um, but I'm going to get straight onto the questions from my last create and chat video. And I've got one here from It's Jen here. And they've asked, what advice do you have for beginner art YouTubers who are trying to get their name out there? So I did answer a very similar question to this um, in one of my previous videos. But to get your name out there, a couple of things you can do are, you know, tagging your videos correctly and use a lot of tags if you can because that's how people are going to find your videos. Another thing you can do is be active in the community. So commenting on other artists' videos and, you know, not commenting, you know, hey, check out my channel, but just commenting about the video, you know, watch the video and then say something. You know, that way other people who like watching artists, YouTubers, they might see your comment and then they might just click on your channel and they might find you that way. And another thing to help with that is to actually have um, like an art related display picture because if you have an art related display picture then I think more people will assume that your channel is art related so that could also help. Um, and another thing is making popular videos and I don't mean just make popular videos because they're popular but you know videos like the cheap art supply challenge um, the three marker challenge that kind of thing um, those videos do really well and people are searching those terms a lot so it's more likely that they will find your video um, but I mean like obviously don't make them if you really don't want to make them I think it has to be genuine and like you're not making them just to get views, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, that can definitely help. Um, and I mean, you know, there's a difference between getting more people to your channel, but then getting people to actually subscribe. So, you know, once you've got them to your channel, you need to kind of give them a reason to subscribe and want them to come back. So. I think it's really important to have good quality videos, so a decent camera, decent audio, and um, decent editing skills. And I also think it's really important to upload regularly because if somebody goes to your channel and you haven't made a video in like three months time, they're probably not going to subscribe. But if they can see that you upload, you know, every week, then they're probably more likely to subscribe. So keep that in mind as well. Um, but yeah, hopefully that somewhat helps. And the next question here is from Anna and they've asked, when did you begin drawing slash painting? Well, I've been drawing ever since I could and I have been painting for most of my life. I have paintings from when I was in kindergarten and I mean, they were more kind of like simplistic paintings but still paintings um so yeah i've basically been creating art my whole life and then the next question i have here is from janelle empire sorry i don't know how that's meant to be said and they've asked have you done much experimenting with painting mediums i've recently gotten into using pouring medium with acrylic inks both from liquitex uh, no, I haven't. I I don't know why. I've used um, gel medium to collage onto a painting. However, I haven't used um, a paint medium to kind of mix in with the paint to like use it as a glaze or something like that. Um, I don't know. I feel like because I mainly paint with acrylics, I can just use water. Although I do like to paint in thin layers, so using a painting medium would probably be better for that because I know if you, you use too much water, it goes kind of funny and painting mediums are much better for that kind of thing. So I probably should try them, but I just haven't yet. 
And then the next question here is from Casey and they've asked, where do you store all your artwork? Do you have a studio or do you sell the original straight away? So I do have a studio, although my studio is just a bedroom in our house. So it's not like an official art studio or anything. And basically I keep my paintings in the built-in wardrobe. Um, and most of those ones are the ones from uni because a lot of them are quite big and they take up a lot of space. So most of them fit in there. Um, my more recent paintings, um, I paint on much smaller surfaces now, so I can kind of fit them in easier. And if I do kind of like watercolor and ink paintings, you know, they obviously just fit flat into like a folder and that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I I do have enough storage for them, although I really should sell uh, more of my paintings. Um, unfortunately, I don't really sell originals and that's not because people don't want to buy them. It's just because um, I don't really, I don't know, like know where to sell them in my area. And if I was going to sell them, I'd probably sell them online. And because I live in Australia and a lot of my viewers are actually from America, you know, the whole shipping and packaging and all that kind of stuff is kind of confusing and I haven't entirely figured it out yet. Um, so yeah, I really should sell them. Um, although I do kind of like holding on to my art from uni because I don't know, it's what I made at uni. We'll see though. Um, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll probably start to do something about that when I start running out of space. Um, and then I have a question here from Clement RD and they've asked, can you try to make a video of you drawing an original piece but in anime form? Um, I probably won't be doing that. Um, I used to draw a little bit of anime um, and I do like anime but it's not really my style so I guess you know if I was gonna do that I could do like I don't know the anime art challenge or something like that um, but I don't know I don't really want to be making anime art um, it's just not something that I want to be making. I think like a lot of my more kind of like stylized work, um, I guess it's not really anime like, it's probably more, I don't know, Disney like in a way. Um, but yeah, I don't know, I'm, I'm definitely not planning on making any anime anytime soon. It's not really my thing anymore. I did draw a little bit of it when I was younger, but yeah, I I think I'm just gonna stick to my style at the moment. Um, and then I have a question here from Miss Fallen Warrior and they've asked, would you be willing to do a tutorial video on how to transfer slash enlarge images I make little images I adore, but when I try to copy it at a larger scale, it isn't the same. I know what you mean about trying to redraw something larger. Sometimes it can work, but then a lot of the time it's just not the same. Like I feel like it can lose a lot of energy and that kind of thing. Um, but I definitely can make a tutorial on how I enlarge and transfer drawing. Um, it's actually pretty easy. so. I don't know, I haven't really bothered to make a video like that because I feel like it's too easy. <laughs> um, but I definitely can. Um, and for me, it's like I only have like a simple black and white A4 printer and sometimes I need to like obviously print something that's larger than A4. However, I do have a way of getting around that. so. Maybe I will make a tutorial about that uh, one day. 
Um, and then MIDR831188 has asked, can you please draw Romanat Wood? I love him. Um, I have no idea who that is. And you say him, so probably not. I don't know if you guys have realized, but I like drawing girls. Um, I don't really draw men very often. I don't know, I just like drawing girls, so I probably won't be drawing any guys anytime soon. Although someone did comment on my video saying that I should do a portrait of me and my boyfriend. And it's funny that they say that because Sometime soon I will be uploading a video where I'm doing an ink and watercolour painting of Kieran and I, so you will be seeing me uh, draw a guy soon, but other than that, I'm probably not going to be drawing any guys. Um, and then the last question here is from Shai Undrak again sorry about the pronunciation and they want to know what music I used in my previous Crate and Chat video. I don't remember the name of the song off the top of my head but I'll look it up for you and then uh, reply to your comment with what it is but basically um, most of the music that I use is from the website Epidemic Sound and they have a fantastic um, audio library there there's so much on there and the music is really good as well so I think you have to pay to use the music on there but if you're a YouTube partner most networks will give you free access to Epidemic Sound so that's how I access it um, and the song that I used in that video is from there but like I said I don't remember the name of it so I will look it up and then comment back to you what it is. And yeah, that is all the questions that I received on my previous video. If you have any more questions for me, please comment them on this video and I will answer them in my next Create and Chat video. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel either. That way you won't miss any of my videos. Um, so yeah, I think that's all from me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all having a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video. I've seen most of her movies. I haven't seen all of them. Um, but one that I saw kind of recently, well, within the past few years, it's called Plush. And I mean, the movie... like.